So, update. Um, God, I don't know if I'm ever doing this. I hate to take selfies. This is, uh, I'm being Dave Brown critical because he, he always says, practice on your selfies. So anyway, update. Uh, today is the 10th of January and I'm still alive, living here in Phnom Penh. I'm wearing my Daniel Eberly Memorial Clovis High School blue and gold Hawaiian shirt that I bought in the Cougar store when Betty Daru worked in there. So yeah, this is an old one, but it fits me still really good. And I didn't mean Memorial. Danny didn't die. He's still alive out there somewhere. I just haven't seen him post in a while, but this is uh, dedicated to Danny and also to uh, Sharon Matzenbacher for the Chamoon here. So the Chamoon, Sharon, guess what? Um, you know how you set goals, short-term, long-term? And I know you had your students do that too. Danny, you probably told your kids about that too, short-term, long-term goals. Well, I was talking with a friend the other day, one of my South African friends here, and she's young, she's 19. She just started a teaching career and she doesn't know if she wants to continue. And I told her, hey, June, July, and August. Those were the three things that I remember when I became a teacher that somebody sat me down and told me that. I think it was Jerry England or maybe Beth Litterock because they were my master teachers at Clovis High School in 1992. So, wow, it's been a while. But anyway, um, we were talking about short-term, long-term goals. And one of my last goals in my life was once I reached retirement age, I wanted to work in a university. And I had done that um, right after I got my MA in counseling and student services at Fresno State. I was in the EOP department with Dean. Dean Christensen was there and he actually ended up um, working for EOP or the counseling department advising for a number of years. But anyway, to make a longer story long, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, Dean, I knew Dean. Uh, uh, I knew Nancy Greaser. She was my mentor the first year. Um, but I always thought I'd want to return to that, and I had wrote it down as a goal. And guess what? I applied at the American University Phnom Penh, and they have partnerships with Arizona University, not Arizona State, and partnerships with Fort Hayes University in Kansas, Alice, Fort Hayes. I'm not sure what city it's in. I'll look it up. But I got a job as a university assistant professor in English. I'll be teaching the enrichment English classes, which are the basically bonehead, um, but it's for the students that have taken the English placement test and maybe not done so well, but need to improve their English before they get out of university. So I think I'll have four sections. I'm excited. Uh, the job was supposed to start on the 11th, but they've been changing some things around for scheduling. Um, and the Vice President of Academics, very gracious man, Dr. Kamala, um, who said, hey, we want to give Stephen more time to prepare. So I'm grateful. Um, it seems like it's a good faculty team, uh, mostly Americans, uh, some Brits, uh, a few Australians. So I'm excited to be able to do that at this venture, this juncture, this crossroads, I guess, in my retirement adventure. Um, so I appreciate your comments, your prayers. Um, my continued struggles with health seem to be lessening each day, thank God. Um, but I still have things I need to take care of. Borders now with Thailand are closed, and they've had some cases over the last week that have really spread out throughout the country, which is sad. Um, Cambodia, though, still, they're saying no deaths here. Um, about 362 cases of COVID. And about, of those 362, about 350 have recovered and no deaths. So I'm grateful. Um, I try and protect myself every day wearing a mask. I just went to the open market and made sure I wore a mask. It's Sunday here. So the streets are pretty quiet. Um, people are sleeping off last night. But I just wanted to let all my friends and family know I'm thinking about you today and I would appreciate always your prayers, your thoughts. Uh, I'm praying for you in America, in California with all the things that have developed in, in the last uh, week. And I'm sad, but I'm also happy to see that um, some things will be able to be taken care of 
And some things still aren't. Some things are in flux, but that's just um, politics as usual and praying that God's will would be done and that um, for a bright new year, those of you who want to get involved, get involved. If you're tired of the process and the things that have happened, get involved. I know I plan to here um, any way I can to help people, uh, to be a positive influence. If I was in California, I would seriously think about running for either Congress, like Kevin Cookingham had done, and I pray, Kevin, you run again, uh, because we're going to need you in the next two years. I pray that you gear up and that your supporters would start to step up and really help you to get into that office. And I know you'd be a great congressman, Kevin Cookingham. You would have my support. You have my support here overseas in Cambodia. And I would support you even more if I were there. We need good people to step up because of the things that are currently happening, the things that have happened, and because we want to see things happen in the future that will benefit all Americans, not just some Americans. And I'm saying that truly from the bottom of my heart. I want to see America succeed, but we can't if we're a divided country. And Abraham Lincoln said it best. Um, divided, we we will just destroy ourselves. So united we stand, but divided we will fall. So please, um, pray for America. Pray for the things that are going on. Pray for the transition. Pray for new leadership to start to rise up, uh, to take the place of those who have been entrenched in government too long. This was not supposed to be a political ad. This was supposed to be a, hey, update on my retirement adventure day, I don't know, 180, 190. Um, so I've been here for a year and, wow, a year and two weeks. So I'm excited and hoping to hear from some of you soon and just continue to pray for me as I step into my role at American University of Phnom Penh. So as my friend Brent would say, peace out. And again, this is dedicated to Danny Everly, Hawaiian Shirt Day, Sunday, and Sharon Matzenbacher. So chaboon, Sharon, and hope you're having a good day. And this is from the Chamoon, okay? So talk to you guys later. Peace out.